Hi, I'm Kelly with rawarrior.com. How are you all doing today? I hope you'll leave me a comment and let me know. Well, I thought this would be a good time to talk since yesterday I had an interesting visit with the room doc and last week was my second Actemra IV. I haven't seen any changes yet with the Actemra. Um, I have all the same joint pain and stiffness. I have a little bit less swelling in some fingers and in my knees over the last week, but that's happened many times before. So yesterday, um, in walks the room doc with some papers, these papers, and sits down next to me, hands me these papers, these are all the lab reports, <coughs> and says, these are all your current labs, these are your copies, and look here, your anti-CCP is very high, and the rheumatoid factor is high, but your SED rate and CRP are normal. That's okay. We see that in lots of patients. You have to treat the patient. It's the patient that matters. Wow. Um, Doc actually said, um, it's kind of sad, um, that it's necessary to get on the phone and um, personally talk with people from insurance companies sometimes stopping uh, discontinuing treatment uh, patients who have a normal SED rate. And Doc says things like, look, I took fluid out of this knee. You didn't see how much. Um, I'm treating these joints. I'm treating this patient. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, speaking of labs and insurance, um, I was pretty disappointed when the doc said, well, we're not going to be monitoring your cholesterol every month like they did in the trials for Actemra. Insurance will cover that every four months, so we'll be checking your cholesterol every four months. Well, cholesterol is one of the very first markers, um, cholesterol changes, show that a patient needs to get off this drug. So I haven't decided yet um, what to do about the insurance. Um, I have to go to battle and try to teach the insurance company that with Actemra you need your cholesterol checked. So after this uh, great visit, um, I'm riding home and I remember back um, about a year <coughs> to a very different visit um, long ago and far away with another room doc. Um, I had a stack of labs and this was a new doc. Actually this doc has a nickname here on the blog. It's Doc Space Heater if you want to look that up case you're curious. Um, so I remember exactly what that doc said to me. I came home and wrote everything down. My daughter, my uh, grown daughter was with me um, and we retold the story several times. So we, we remember it like it was this morning. Um, doc says to me, well your anti-CCP is over 250 and you have a positive rheumatoid factor, but your SED rate and CRP are normal. Now the doc didn't actually examine my joints, but from across the room said, you know, I can tell from your SED rate and your hands that if you have RA, you're in remission. Um, I was kind of in shock, but the doc explained to me that these are the inflammation markers and that I didn't have any inflammation and that if I had any pain at all, that must mean that I have fibromyalgia. I didn't argue, I didn't agree, um, 
but something tells me that a doc in that kind of a mindset probably isn't going to change his mind from a patient's view. So a little while later, I have my clothes back on, and I'm standing in the hallway with my daughter, waiting for the medical assistants to give us all of our paperwork back that we had turned in to have copied into our new chart. And the doc walks up to me in the hallway, he gets very close to me, and is very irritated, and says, do you understand what I'm telling you? If you have RA, you're in remission. Look at your hands. And the doc repeated again, your sed rate and CRP are normal. You have no inflammation. I'm not sure what kind of a response the doc was expecting. Whatever it was, um, I guess I didn't do it. I just stood there. I was stunned. I think I finally said, I hear what you're saying. Um, I think after I left that day, I was at about the lowest point ever with, with my disease. I had pain in every single joint and stiffness and weakness. And this was not the first doctor who told me, well, your sed rate is normal and your hands don't look bad. So if you have RA, it's in remission. At that point, it's very hard to pick up the phone and find one more rheumatologist bring all your records in, bring in your normal sed rate <laughs> and your not very visibly swollen hands and say, yes, I claim to have RA. <laughs> um, but after a couple weeks, I did. And um, within a few weeks, I met a new rheumatologist. And that's the one that that's the one I saw yesterday. So uh, there's a moral to this story. Um, sometimes it's hard to find a new doctor. Sometimes it's hard to try a new medicine. Um, we have to keep trying. And there are doctors who do treat the patient, who know what they're doing. Um, if you haven't found one, I hope this helps you have courage to keep looking. Um, if you have one, um, thank them for me. Um, thanks for reading the blog. I love hearing from you. I'm going to show you my t-shirt while I say goodbye. <laughs>